Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys another way to find floating islands in Terraria. Now I made a video about how to find them using the gravitational potion previously and I also was showing off how to use the gravitational potion in a clever way. But this way is a little bit easier, especially early game. So all you really need is rope. And you can buy rope from the merchant and you can find it in pretty much every cave in this game. And what you look for is a little puddle of water. And you can do this almost straight away as soon as you spawn. Just go to a cave, get some rope and then have a look for this puddle of water. And then pretty much go up the rope. You're obviously going to have to be careful of fall damage. I'm obviously using late game gear here just to show this off. But you can do this pretty much as soon as you spawn. And then you can find a sky island. You're not always guaranteed to find one just so you know, and you are lucky if you get the Lucky Horseshoe, for example, or you can get the Star Fury pretty quickly, which is very handy, and you can get more rope to look for more floating islands. I'm going to give you a closer look on how to do this in a second, and I'm going to show you some more examples of what to look out for in more kind of like busier biomes where water is more common. But <laughs> this is like the coolest and quickest way to find flo floating islands without having to do anything special and without having to get the gravitational potion. So let me show you. What you're looking for is a pool of water that is not connected to a larger pool of water. And what I mean by that is if you go to the jungle, for example, there's lots of big pools of water because you're in the jungle. And if you have little puddles on the ground next to that giant pool of water, then you are not going to find a sky island above you, more than likely. But if you can find one or two blocks of water, just a little puddle, that's not connected to a larger body of water, then there's a very high chance that there's a sky island above your head. And I'm just showing off how to use the gravitational potion here very quickly. One thing you can do with the gravitational potion, if you want to combine all of my tricks, is you can use the gravitational potion to go from the first sky island that you find the next one if you have a gravitational potion in your inventory of course and the gravitational potion is not that hard to make either but in general you usually just wait until you find one and that way you don't have to constantly be going around looking for puddles and you can just travel across the sky and find extra sky islands once again i am going to show you guys how to find these little puddles in busier environments but for now i just want to show you how to use the gravitational potion and i always get Bloody balloons. What is it with my luck and balloons? So, as you can see, all of these big bodies of water are all connected to each other. But this one here is isolated and there's no larger body of water above it. So we're going to go up and see if there's a sky island up here. And you can do this with any puddle of water you see. It's not going to hurt you to use the rope to go up and check for sky islands. So you don't need to worry about wasting equipment or whatever. Just be careful of fall damage. Be careful of the harpies. But it looks like we actually found a sky island by going up above this little pool of water. I think we got a little bit lucky in this one. But still, any indication you have that there is a sky island above you, check it out. See if you can find something. Another bloody balloon. I keep getting balloons. I swear to God, it's the most annoying thing. As you can see here, all this water here, all connected to larger bodies of water, so not included. Let's have a look, see if we can find another one that is maybe in another biome. Because the problem is, some of these can be hard to spot. Especially in cases like the jungle, or if you are looking at the um, hallowed biome, for example. I mean, by the time you get to the hallowed biome. But look, look at this little puddle of water that we found here. This is a prime example of what it'll look like in the jungle. No bodies around, no bodies of water around it. And also it's above the other water, which is very important. It doesn't always have to be above, but being above the other water on the map or on the area that you're in is an indication that there's a sky island above you. Now, don't forget sky islands are super useful in this game. You have sky islands that you can use for fishing. You have Sky Islands that you can use for the Star Fury. You can find the Lucky Horseshoe. And if you're really lucky, you can get the Fledgling Wings early game. So you can actually get 
early game wings. And look, we got the lucky horseshoe. So that's going to negate all fall damage. Obviously, as I said already, I'm on a late game character, so I don't need it right now. But on a normal character, I would be laughing right now. I won't have any more fall damage for the rest of the game. Can you imagine if this was a hardcore character? Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if I explained everything okay. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. I will see you again in the next one. And make sure to check out our gravitational potion video as well on how to find sky islands. But apart from that, thank you one last time and ta-ta!